I purchased this portable dual hose air conditioning unit for my workshop, but wanted a more permanent and secure solution than the adjustable plastic window adapter that it came with. My window has a nice 5 8 inch gap in the frame on all the sides, so I measured the maximum width and cut it out of a piece of half inch plywood. I made the height 9 inches because I have a 10 inch bandsaw. This gives me 2 inches above and below the 5 inch vent holes. I used trial and cutting to make it as wide as possible while still being able to slide into the window opening, because measuring tapes are for sissies. I'm not sure why there was a limp snake underfoot, but I decided to move it elsewhere. My window sash has a few end pieces of plastic to cut around. I did the long side on the table saw, and used my bandsaw for the angled cuts. Here's where the 10 inch size of my bandsaw comes into play in deciding the 9 inch height of the board. Now that it fits in the window, I just have to trace around the adapter pieces to size the holes. Yes, the two holes are off-center. I'm leaving space for future addition of a 4-inch exhaust vent for fume extraction. I drilled a starter hole and cut the plugs out with a jigsaw. If you ever think that you will be blocking up one of the holes in the future, you can use the plug and a piece of wood to make an almost perfect patch. I like tightening up the screws by hand so that I don't accidentally crush the plastic tabs. I thought about all kinds of fancy locking systems, but decided that a 2x4 cut to the appropriate length and friction fit was probably the simplest and best solution. Obviously somebody could break or cut the plywood, but they could do the same thing to the original window. I figure the half inch plywood is at least as strong as the original glass. Of course, after you have fun of getting everything working, you have to take it apart again so that you can paint it with exterior paint. Although water will drain away from the wood using the existing weep holes in the window frame, this paint will extend its life and protect it from the sun. The biggest issue I see is that the plastic hose adapters could be pushed in and somebody could stick their arm through the hole, but the 2x4 is quite a bit above the hole so it would be a struggle to reach it from the outside. I like this solution because it fits behind the original screen so I don't have to reinvent the screen to keep the bugs 